GTA 4 save game file locations can vary significantly depending on your game version and whether you're using an ASI loader for modding. I'll show you how to locate and transfer save files between the different versions of the game, specifically covering versions 1040, 1070, 1080, and the complete edition. For those unfamiliar with an ASI loader, it's a DLL file that enables ASI plugins or script mods with the .asi extension to load and function in the game. If you're interested, I've linked the ultimate ASI loader in the description below. To install it, just drag the dinput8.dll file into your game folder. To begin, save game files for GTA 4 are named with the prefix capital S GTA 4 followed by two digits. The two digits at the end indicate the save slot used for your game. So if you see it named as capital S GTA 401, it corresponds to the second save slot. This is because the first slot starts at zero. Let's first talk about the complete edition save game files. The folder for the complete edition save game files can be found in this path. To get there, simply open your documents folder, go to Rockstar Games, GTA 4, Profiles, and then open the next folder. Your save game files are located here. Even if there are numerous save files, you can easily identify each one by its last modified date. Just compare it to your saves in game. Let's now talk about versions 1040, 1070, and 1080's save game files. The save game files for versions 1040, 1070, and 1080 can be found in this path. To access this path, open Windows Explorer and type percent local app data percent in the address bar. After that, open the Rockstar Games folder, go to GTA 4, open the save games folder, and then open the user folder. Your save game files are located here. Using the Ultimate ASI Loader won't alter the location of your save game files except for when the ASI Loader's file is named xlive.dll or known as xliveless. The file for the ASI Loader is named xlive.dll only when players intend to play GTA 4's single player mode with mods and wish to bypass games for Windows Live. So to achieve this, simply rename the dinput8.dll file to xlive.dll. In that case, your save game file can still be found in the same path for version 1070 and 1080 except that it's in a different user folder. Notice how I now have two user folders here. One folder is used when an ASI loader is not installed or an ASI loader is installed and its file is not named xlive.dll. The other folder is used when an ASI loader is installed and its file is named xlive.dll. If you downgraded GTA 4 to version 1040 using its Clon Gondre's downgrader tool, and if you have the two xliveless add-on files and the ASI loader xlive.dll in the game folder, your save games may be located in the saves folder within the game directory. This save game path can always be changed by opening the xliveless addon.ini file through Notepad and changing the custom save path between the quotes. Keeping it blank will make it use this path instead, which is C, Users, Your Username, Documents, Rockstar Games, GTA 4, and Save Games. I'm now going to show you how to transfer your saves across the different GTA 4 versions. Let's first talk about transferring save game files between versions 1040, 1070, and 1080. First, it's important to know that save game files for versions 1040, 1070, and 1080 are largely compatible with one another and don't require any downgrades or upgrades. You can safely transfer save game files between these three versions without any issues by placing them in their designated locations. Let's now talk about transferring save game files from the previous versions to the complete edition. Saves from earlier versions of the game will always work with the complete edition. All you have to do is simply transfer them to the designated location. No conversions are needed. To use a save file from the complete edition on the earlier versions of the game, you'll need to do one of the two methods. Let's start with the first method. First, take your save file from the complete edition and place it in the save game folder corresponding to the downgraded version of the game that you're using. For this to work, however, you'll need to install Zalika Patch and Ultimate ASI Loader. A link to Zalika Patch is in the description below. Install it by dragging and dropping these four files into your game folder. At this point, your save should load successfully. That's the first method. The second method is to downgrade the save file. In order to do that, you're going to want to go to this website called gtasnp.com. Take your save file from the complete edition and drag and drop it into the gray box on the webpage. Now click on Save Edits, click on the drop down for Downgrade Version, 
and select the option 1080 IV slash 1130 EFLC and older. Then click whichever slot you want your save game to be in and it will download to your downloads folder. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. This save file won't go into any of the designated save folders mentioned earlier in the video. Instead, you'll need to place it in the following directory, which is C, Users, your username, Documents, Rockstar Games, GTA 4, and in the save games folder. However, to load this save file, you'll need to download and install both Ultimate ASI Loader and the X Liveless add-on. The download link for X Liveless add-on is in the description below. To install it, just drag and drop these two files into your game folder. Also ensure that the ASI Loader is named xlive.dll for compatibility, otherwise it will not work. At this point, your save should load successfully. Please show your support by hitting the like button if this video helped you, and thank you so much for watching.